Have you ever encountered a situation like this? That you came up with an idea the night before you go to sleep, and you immediately forget it tomorrow morning. Yes, ideas are like wings. It suddenly blows and vanishes afterwards. If I fail to catch it and felt it immediately, nothing remains on my mind. All along the way, I came across many people, events, and problems after hearing those sharings. At any way, anywhere, anytime, problems and ideas would pop out and expand to a swirl. Sometimes I would let it go, but the other times I just can't give it up. Knowing that those would be something remarkable that is worthy of treasuring. And since the thoughts have been booming recently, my writings have scattered around in notebooks, cell phones, and even my textbooks. I never consider myself as a writer because deep in my mind, I think that writer should be someone published published books or poetry anthology. They have unfathomable thought that we, the ordinaries, can imagine. But as the species will evolve, so do our thoughts. To mark the specific time that I was unrealizing that I was actually composing as a writer was the days I spent in my freshman year. Thanks much to my dear department mentor, Brian. She firstly asked us to contemplate and sort out our history of learning English. I could still recall that was terribly a mess. It was only a piece of chronology. There was no stalling sign, boring and tedious. The subject, I, run rampant throughout my words. But before we write the second version, Brian told us, be more systematic and you are the writer. The words were so strong that it was like a beating drum in my mind. So I learned to look closely back on those core value of each event that happening in my life. To me, it was like playing games, finding the pieces of puzzles and matching up together. When the puzzle finished, my writings come to an end. And through times of practices, I eventually gain the definition and tone in my own composition. Now, writing is a method for me to, re to having a conversation with myself. I mostly ask myself questions which are the perspective toward others' actions or mindset. What tells others and me the part? Or what is the turning point of making the different decisions? Through this progress, I can recognize myself, get to know better about my inner attitudes, it may sometimes be the memories that influence me to act like this, or, the, or my own characteristic telling me to do so when facing the same life intersections. So, if you sometimes feel miserable about your life, or you don't actually know about yourself, be a writer and write down those life chaos down. And the future will no longer be blurred to you 
as new ideas will pop out, old problems will be solved. And while you are writing, you need not need to worry about that your grammar is poor or vocabulary isn't broad enough. Because I don't care about it. What you and I should really feel proud of is the progress of reasoning. As vocabulary and grammar could be improved through times of practices, but the ingredients that form the articles should be discovered by our human, ourselves, TME.